It's an ordinary January Michigan morning. Inside the halls of Ypsilanti Community High School stands a big man. Hey, let's go! In a big brown suit, who took an extraordinary path to become a leader. With minutes to go before his students begin an exam day, Principal Justin Jennings gives them a friendly reminder. If you're not in class, teachers will lock the doors and you'll be escorted to the auditorium until the next exam. You know, I, I would have never, you know, imagined myself in this situation, having sat back in that classroom, you know, 20-something years ago, you know, at Central. As a high school basketball star at Grand Rapids Central in West Michigan, Jennings aspired to reach the next level. Them shorts are small. <laughs> in spite of the tight attire, there was no doubt Jennings was a high flyer. At the end of my recruitment, I was getting recruited by just about every school you can imagine. My last few schools were, were Purdue, Michigan State, um, Arizona. While many saw his talent on the hardwood, hardly anyone recognized Jennings' struggle in the classroom. Right. Yeah. He could yeah. barely yeah. read. It, it took some time to realize that, I mean, for me to realize how deficient I was. But yeah, there was, there was uh, I would say there was a lot of embarrassment. In spite of his struggle, Jennings graduated from high school with grades good enough to get into Purdue. As a first-generation college student, Jennings had no idea of the academic endeavor he was about to embark on when he arrived on campus in 1992. My first semester of college, a guy who can't read, I took 21 hours. <laughs> So it was, it was crazy, and I remember Coach Katie calling me in the office because they were like, what are you doing? I'm the son of a pastor, Justin pretty much memorized the Bible growing up. Ironically, his problem came to light during a Bible as literature class. And we were reading a verse that, I mean, Habakkuk, and that's not something you, you normally read in the Bible, so I couldn't do it, and the teacher kind of sensed it. Jennings took a test that determined that he read at a third grade level. Brandon Brantley, a teammate of Jennings at Purdue and a current member of the Boilermaker coaching staff, was surprised by the news when I spoke to him. <laughs> well, now that, that's shocking. I didn't, I didn't know that. I mean, uh, he's a well-spoken guy. Uh, he's intelligent, so I, I never would have guessed it. When you're, you know, a basketball player, you don't want people to understand or know that you, you know, you can't read. He set out on a mission to learn how to read. He reached out to his former third grade teacher and they started with the basics. We were talking about words and she was showing me how to sound them out and different things like that. So during that time, I, I, don't, I probably shouldn't tell this, because I actually almost uh, flunked out of Purdue. He secluded himself in the stacks, far away from his peers and simply put, just read. Starting with kids books like The Giving Tree. By the start of his senior year, not only did I, was I able to read, but I was comprehending what I was reading also. Jennings left West Lafayette in 1996, a success on the court, picking up three Big Ten titles and a success in the classroom, graduating with a degree in African American Studies. His time at Purdue would prove to be the springboard to a lifelong yearning for learning. <laughs>